Right, hello everybody. Welcome to After Further Review with Steve Tower. I am your host, Steve Tower, and tonight um, we are bringing Roller Rumble back onto the table. Uh, this was um, due to the fantastic response I got last week um, when I initially brought this game back onto the table, and so I've decided to do a uh, an abbreviated season uh, with the bonus teams uh, set. That is available for this so it's a six team uh, set and uh, each team is going to play each other twice uh, home and away and then we will have a, a playoff series between the, the two teams uh, with the most wins uh, so uh, we'll continue our week one action here uh, and then next week we will finish off week one uh, with Cleveland traveling to Kansas City uh, and then after that uh, every week we'll have a, a double feature um, of some kind either I'll play out two games um, or we'll play out a game and then we can roll off a score uh, for the out of town games um, still um, still deciding on what I what I want to see but uh, let me know in the comments if, uh, if you have a preference uh, for what you'd like to see um, but for now uh, let's get let's get this action going uh, we'll take a look at the starting lineup for the women here uh, and uh, really a um, uh, an interesting mix of players here on the women's side. Um, and Washington, the All-Americans, uh, the visitors here in the bottom row, uh, they definitely have the star power advantage in this matchup, um, at least as far as TV grades go. Um, whereas the, uh, the Montreal Monarchs sort of have a... Um, a better advantage uh, as far as being flexible. Uh, so if players are substituted out or injured, um, we will uh, see if Montreal is able to uh, take advantage of having a little bit more flexibility in that. But, uh, and also Montreal will have the advantage of being the home team. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, all right, so we will start in uh, the fifth. So we'll join the game in progress. Whoop. I grabbed the wrong sheet. Um, so we'll use our handy dandy halftime score generator and see um, how we are doing. So first we'll roll for the home team and Montreal. Oh, a 66 is going to be a high score. So we will re-roll there. And then a 43. They are going to have 24 points. Oh, boy. I thought I was getting ahead of things by... Uh, having the score set at 10, but uh, Montreal uh, will have a, a big first half uh, and uh, 24 points. Let's see how the visiting All-Americans do. Oh, and they roll pretty low. A 21 is going to be a score of 12. So that is where we will pick things up. Oh, and let's see what the, uh, the highlight of the first half was. Uh, oh boy, and a women's skater was ejected, and a women's skater was injured. Oh my. Um, all right, well, let's flip over a card. Let's see which skater was ejected. Uh, let's see. Oh, and it's going to be Amy Zilla, the big blocker um, for Washington, is ejected from the game. So Washington will be down a player. Uh, let's see. They will bring in uh, Kelly Herring. So they're going to switch DD Truck Robinson to the number one spot. So Amy Zilla will be unavailable here in the second half. And now uh, the injured skater uh, is going to be uh, Becky Pulaski. So there must have been a big collision between the two blockers. Oh, and that is a, um, a big blow for Montreal as Becky Pulaski um, also doubles as their backup pivot. Um, player. So Becky Pulaski injured. She will be out. So they will have to go to that um, that bench there. Uh, so they'll bring in Cindy Chamberlain. Uh, Cindy Chamberlain who can kind of do it all. She has, I think, I believe it's the only player that I've seen that has all three positions. Uh, and she is a star agile and star smart. So um, so she can go into any position and will uh, keep that starred quality uh, for both of those. So 
Uh, all right, so um, we are now ready to get into uh, action here in uh, period number five. Uh, first, welcome to everybody joining me. Uh, let's see, it is Chris Phillips uh, joining us, Chris Hoffman, uh, Mark Russell here, our Canadian representative, uh, Keith Avalon, the man, the myth, the legend himself, the designer of the game is here. Keith, thank you for joining me. Uh, Bruce Berkowitz and uh, Bob's Tabletop Sports has joined us. All right. Um, <laughs> Bob promised to be late, and, and he is. Well, there we go. All right. So uh, we'll start the second half action. Montreal on top, 24 to 12. And away we go. All right. Let's see. Uh, mean skater in four. Uh, there are no mean skaters in four. Oh, and yeah. All right. So we'll move on to the next one here. Powerful skater uh, in three. Uh, so the advantage here is uh, definitely going to be Rosie Rosdale in the center of the, the pivotal pivot position. Uh, a, a big, powerful, and mean pivot player. Uh, and also with a double A TV grade. Uh, so levels three opponents <laughs> with one move. And the All Americans. Uh, take a early advantage here trying to set up the first jam uh, and again powerful Rosie Randall gonna knock down some opponents and here we go uh, let's see audience roars as a star skater in three. Oh, knocks down opponents so Donna Beal not to be outdone trying to get her team uh, into a jamming position and now Tammy Brinker uh, the other blocker for Montreal uh, is gonna <laughs> throw Kelly Herring into the infield furniture oh boy and we're gonna have our first action here both teams just about ready for a jam let's see a big skater in one and that is gonna be DD truck Robinson oh boy uh, slams her opponents with a devastating um, body blow and hmm, I think they're going to try for the power jam because uh, being down 12, they're going to keep going. Oh, and it's going to be another action. Uh, oh, and the home team <laughs> is going to come ahead uh, and go into the jam, and they will take the jam. Uh, let's see, and they'll get two points on the jam. Oh, the um, gamble did not pay off for Washington. Let's see, on the follow-up jam, uh, an agile jammer weaves through the pack. Oh, for a power jam. Uh, let's see. So uh, we have one Agile on both sides. Uh, neither of them starred. Uh, so the tiebreaker will go to the trailing team. So Montreal will get a power jam uh, out of it. Let's see. Jammer slips past defender and jams again. Oh, so that is five points. And another power jam coming up and oh boy look at that so joanne walling is gonna come away with 10 points on the follow-up jam oh my goodness and just like that the all americans make it a four point game we will reset oh and the home crowd is not happy with that and away we go. All right, we're going to have our first sub come in uh, as Donna Beal needs to take a quick breather. And uh, Mary Frances Pellegrino will come in to take her place. Uh, she does have the pivot quality on there, so she will be able to uh, keep her starred smart. Uh, let's see, trailing team gets on a roll. Uh, Washington looking to set up another jam. Let's see, a smart jammer in five. Oh, and that's going to be Ella Swede Anderson for the home squad. Sneaking up into the pack. Another action coming at us. Skaters in one jostle for position, and it's going to be DD Truck Robinson uh, who will elbow Cindy and then wink to the camera. And another substitute coming in, uh, and this is going to be Kelly Herring, uh, the other blocker. Uh, and unfortunately now, they do not have a blocker on the bench. So uh, they're going to bring in Lewis Hur or, uh, Lois Hurricane Smith, uh, who will lose the star on the fast quality as he is a jammer. 
All right, more action coming up here. An action-packed fifth period here. Uh, skaters in two and four collide, so uh, the blockers and jammers, and we're looking at the TV grades. Uh, so combined, it's gonna uh, they'll cancel each other out. So it's the the hurricane uh, who will get the the jam going. Oh boy! And now they got two to play with. Oh, the All Americans they're gonna try for the power jam once again. Uh, let's see. And oh, <laughs> Connie Doran uh, will sneak her way up. Let's see. And then a fast skater. Oh boy! How about that? Twice. Washington doesn't go for the jam, and now here comes uh, Montreal on a jam. Oh boy, but there's going to be no points, but a big jammer. Oh, do we have a big jammer? We do not have any big jammers. So there's going to be no points scored on that jam opportunity. So we'll reset as we get ready to go to the end of uh, the fifth period and we will have our first highlight reel 56 is the roll 56 home team jams skater in three joins in the jam oh boy okay so uh a jam for montreal let's see oh no points uh a smart Smart Jammer shouts instructions to teammates who creates a screen and two points. Let's see. And uh, because Harry Francis Pellegrino is going to join in, that is going to give them the advantage. At, oh, or will it? Let's see. Oh, yes, it will, because that'll give them two starred smart uh, players. So there we go. The home team will come out with two points from that, and it's a six-point game. As we get to the end of the fifth period, restarting after the jam, amped up star skater in two. No star skaters in the blocker two position. Uh, and then here next, Joanne Walling uh, is going to elbow her way past the two blockers of Montreal. And Washington trying to set up a late power jam, or late jam here. Uh, let's see. And it'll be DD Truck Robinson slamming cindy chamberlain into the rail uh let's see and oh boy and then the truck and the hurricane are going to combine uh to uh, box out their opponents and they will be into a jam position oh my goodness now they got a three <laughs> oh they're gonna try for the power jam one more time let's see oh and we're gonna have action uh, and it's going to be a highlight reel. All right, well, so if um, if Washington is able to move ahead, uh, we will get a card because they will be able to finish the jam. But let's see what the highlight reel is. 34. Uh, let's see if, oh, a fight breaks out in the infield area, stopping play, and a skater is ejected from the game. Oh, boy. All right, so there will be no... Uh, no jam to end it, and somebody is going to get ejected from the game. Uh, and Oh, and it's going to be Ella Swede Anderson who gets ejected. And so Montreal is going to be down two, um, uh, two women as uh, the next time they come out. So, but that will end the first fifth uh let's see how are they going to want to set up for the next one and i guess um yeah they'll have uh they'll have their super sub <laughs> will be their their only one on the bench uh for uh the seventh period all right so here we go uh the women will skate off after that fight gets broken up uh, and the men will make their way out onto the track. It is 28-22 as we head into the sixth period. All right, so for the visiting Washington All-Americans, uh, what a lineup uh, they have here. 
they come out. The Freight Train Lane, uh, the big blocker, uh, Bill Frederick, their other blocker. Tom U.S. Marshall, their star pivot player. Uh, and then the Golden Boy, Ty Roy, and Danny Colavetti are their jammers. And then for your Montreal Monarchs, it's Ray Rock and Fred Bronson, the blockers. Uh, Boyce Withers is in the pivot position. Johnny J and Norm Wheels Wheeler are the jammers. All right, this is, yes, this is not your mother's roller derby. All right, uh, as D. Scott Howard and uh, the Sports Time Machine join us. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, I will get the other half of the deck out here. All right, and here we go. Period six underway, a six point game. Uh, the highlights of uh, the fifth period is a 10 point jam. Uh, from uh, Joanne Walling of Washington. Uh, cut the lead at the time to four. Uh, let's see what the men will do. All right, fast jammer in five. Uh, well, that's going to be tied between Wheels and Colavetti, so that'll go to the trailing team. Washington sneaking up uh, into the first one. Oh, and a penalty is going to get called here early. So we'll reset that. The penalty is going to be called on Fred Bronson. So we will have um, we will have the next five cards will be in the penalty minutes, and Fred Bronson will be flipped over. Uh, so they will be skating shorthanded. All right, here we go. Uh, big skater in two. Well, there we go right away. So. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Bill Frederick doesn't have the big quality, but because there's no one there, they will advance. Uh, let's see. Oh, and a substitute. I... Hmm. I guess I think I need to work on a home rule for if a substitute comes up during a penalty. But uh, in this case... Um, oh, and it's called for the home skater in two, which isn't going to have any effect. Oh, boy. But the penalty wasting away here. Let's see. A star jammer in five. No star jammers. And here is the end of the penalty. Uh, agile skater in two. Well, <laughs> Bill is not agile, uh, but they will move up because of the, the penalty. All right, so they come out. No jam happened during the penalty, but they are in a good position here. Uh, let's see. Oh, and we're going to have another penalty. Oh, boy, the men really roughhousing around here. Um, oh, and it's going to be a choice. Visitor skater. Uh, well, I think that they'll uh, they'll have Tom U.S. Marshall go sit out. That'll be the biggest disadvantage for Washington. All right, so Montreal now with a chance uh, is uh, Washington skating shorthanded. Fast skater in four. Johnny J does have the fast quality. Uh, so that, he'll advance two on that. Uh, big jammer in five. There are no big jammers. Uh, oh, and we're going to have a highlight reel. 55. Her third time going to the highlight reel. Fight breaks out after two skaters topple over the rail. Skater and opponent sent to the penalty box. Oh, boy. So that'll reset that. Uh, let's see. So, oh boy. So we're going to have, uh, three minutes where, um, let's see. Washington will be down two players and then we'll have, uh, we'll have five minutes, um, of four on four. So it's, uh, let's see. Oh, but actually... They call it on three, so it's going to be Boyce will go out. Um, hmm, actually, I'm not sure how that... Well, I guess we'll flip over one more card to see... Well, or we'll flip over one more until we get... To, there we are. So it's going to be uh, Ty Roy will also be out. All right, so we'll get three more cards. All right, so the first three will be a four on three. Oh, goodness, what a crazy half here. 
some bad blood indeed. Action as we start back up. Home team surges forward on the track. Uh, and then more action. Uh, but before that action comes out, Tom U.S. Marshall will skate back onto the track. Uh, let's see. Skaters in two and three get into a shoving match. <laughs> and it's going to be Tom U.S. Marshall who will come out on top of that. More action here in the four on four. Uh, oh boy, home skater uh, Johnny J is going to send Tom U.S. Marshall over the railing. And they are trying to get into a jam position here. Let's see, a smart skater in two. Oh, and that is going to be Fred Bronson uh, who gets his team there. All right, so um, they are not in a chance for a power jam because it's four on four. Uh, but they will just take the regular jam here. Let's see. Oh, and it's going to be no points on the initial one. Uh, but then a smart skater in three assist uh, jammer. So Tommy West Marshall is going to uh, get Tommy Calavetti through at the last second there for a point. Boy, oh boy. So all of that uh, as we'll be back to full strength on both teams. Oh, boy. And uh, here we go. 28-23, Montreal still on top. Powerful Jammer in five. No Powerful Jammers there as we start back up. Let's see. Uh, but we do have Powerful Skaters in one. Uh, tied, so we'll go to the trailing team. So it's going to be the Freight Train Lane. Uh, is going to send Ray Block into the rail. Oh, and another penalty is called. Oh, no. Uh, oh, and it's going to be Ray Rock who's going to be called for the penalty uh, as he did not take kindly to getting shoved into the rail. Uh, comes up and clotheslines his opponent. The ref calls it, and so it'll be now Washington with a chance uh, here in shorthanded action. Uh, we're going to have action right away. Uh, let's see, mean skater in four. Oh, boy. Um... So, no mean skater, so nothing's going to happen there. Uh, and another action. Let's see. Skaters in five. Trade, word, shoves, and then blows. And it's going to be Colavetti who will come out on top there. Last minute of the penalty. Uh, and, oh, and it's going to be Johnny J who will come out on top. So, there is the end of the penalty. So, no harm, no foul, really, on Ray Rock being out. And we will have a substitution as Norm Wheels will need to come out for a quick breather. Uh, they will send, they'll send Truman Zeman in. Let's see, big skater in one. Well, that's going to be the big freight train lane. And Washington can possibly jam. Let's see, revved up star skater in two. Oh, no, and unfortunately, uh, Frederick is not able to get Roy into position to jam. So a very low scoring six period there as the men will skate off. And it is 28-23, Montreal on top. It looked like we were going to have a... Um, a historic point total at first, um, but you never know what will happen once the skaters start rolling. All right, so the men will go back to the infield and the ladies will skate back out as we head into the seventh period. So this will be our last period with the ladies. And once again, uh, Montreal is going to be down two female skaters. Um, so they will only have one substitute available on the bench. But luckily for them, it's a substitute who can play all three positions. So, all right, here we go. We will shuffle the cards back together. And... Separate them out. Maybe we can hopefully separate some of those penalties out. Let's see, I'll give half the deck a, a turn. 
the cards are double sided. They're not double sided, but the they have two results on them. All right, split these in half, and there we go. We are ready to get back in action on the bank track. All right, can the Monarchs hold off? The All-Americans in action to start off the seventh. Let's see, a mean skater in three. Oh, that is going to be Big Rosie uh, Rosdale. Uh, oh, boy. Nasty blow to uh, Donna Beal. And the All-Americans with an early advantage here. Uh, and a, a big skater. That's going to be Rosie Rosdale again. Uh, just... Uh, intimidating her opponents here let's see a cheat skater in four i don't believe we have any ladies with a cheat quality no we do not all right so no cheaters powerful skater in two uh so that's gonna be the hurricane who will win the tiebreaker because they are still trailing and washington in a position to jam and they're gonna they're gonna want this time it's gonna work they're gonna hang on and try for a power jam let's see uh, uh the speed of a fast skater uh, oh, and that's going to work out. Uh, so Rosie Ronsdale also has the fast quality. Uh, and the tiebreaker will go to the trailing team. So here we go. The All-Americans with a chance for a power jam. Uh, and it will be five points for Joanne Walling. And we are all tied up at 28 apiece. Uh, let's see. As, um, as Brian Hoxie joins us. Welcome, Brian. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, and I forgot to move my camera back. That's a problem when I have too many camera angles going on. All right, so knotted up at 28 apiece uh, here early in the seventh period. We'll restart, reset the skaters and back into action. Uh, let's see, and this is going to be DD Truck Robinson, uh, who will once again throw a crisp block and the shark into the railing. Let's see, and now it's going to be Joanne Walling, who uh, has really been the star of this game. She will move ahead. Washington looking to jam again. Oh, and we're going to have a substitution call uh, as Tammy Brinker needs a breather. So here comes the super sub, Cindy Chamberlain, back into the action. And it'll be, let's see, a banner hoisting fan <laughs> stokes the home team. So someone wearing a crown and with the Monarchs banner runs around, fires up Montreal squad. They're trying to get back into this. Let's see. Skaters and three crash together, a series of shoves, and it's going to be Rosie Rosdale who will come out on top. Uh, and they're just going to go for the jam this time. Uh, oh, and it's going to be no points. Let's see. And there, oh, and there are no mean skaters. So, um, that is going to be no points. No points on the jam. Wasted opportunity there for sure. All right, so we'll reset back into the action. Uh, let's see, no cheaters here and more action. Oh boy, let's see. And uh, But once again, calling for the cheat quality, so no cheaters out there. Now looking for a smart skater. Well, that is definitely going to go uh, Montreal's way. As the Shark and Cindy Chamberlain help Connie Doran weave her way up the track. Let's see, a mean skater in four. No mean jammers. Uh, fast skater in two. That is going to go to the Hurricane. Washington trying to take the lead for the first time here. Uh, and Rosie Rosdale. Oh, boy. <laughs> a knee to Donnie, Donna Beal, who is been beat up all night long and we're gonna have another highlight reel uh let's see oh all right as a uh, sports flicks and uh, ted boosie join us um everybody please go check out the uh the videos that sports flicks has done uh with um with roller rumble as uh, that was uh one of the big um <laughs> reasons that i got my roller rumble uh, back out onto the table uh, i'm glad you could join me here tonight uh, all right, so on the highlight reel, let's see. Oh, cheat skater. Uh, and there are no cheat skaters, so nothing's going to happen on the highlight reel. We will continue here. 
Um, oh boy, and it's asking for another cheat skater. Everyone playing by the rules here on the women's side. Uh, let's see, a powerful skater in two, and that's going to be the Hurricane. And once again, Washington's set up for a jam. Oh, this time they're going to hold off and try to get the power jam. Let's see, agile skater in one or two. Uh-oh, that's going to be the Shark, uh, who is able to help Connie Doran move up. And now we're going to have action. Let's see, a mean skater in four. No mean skaters in four. Back to the action, a fast skater. Uh, and that's going to be Connie Doran. And Washington, once again, will sneak a jam in. Or uh, Montreal, rather, when uh, Washington was trying for the power jam. Let's see. And it's going to be three points for Washington. And then an agile jammer churns through the pack for a power jam. Oh, boy. So we've got uh, Rhonda St. John and Connie Doran are both agile. Um, and now the tiebreaker is going to go to the trailing team. So Rhonda St. John's going to come through uh, and with a burst of speed trying to go for a power jam. And she will get five points out of that. And Washington will take the lead for the first time here tonight. Oh, goodness. Rhonda St. John with just a inhuman burst of speed at the end of that. Um, and uh, gets a power jam at the last second with five points. All right, so there we go. So Washington with its first lead of the evening. We will reset as we come towards the end of the seventh period. Let's see a star jammer in five. And that's going to be Rhonda St. John uh, taking that over. Let's see. As she uh, continues her fast streak there and weaves ahead here early in the reset. Uh, but Cindy Chamberlain doing her, her part to block for Connie Doran. And oh, and a penalty is going to be called. Let's see. A penalty. Oh, and it's going to be on the home team. But. Um, oh, actually, I guess. What would happen? We're going to get one minute of the penalty. Let's see. Um, so DD Truck Robinson on a powerful move to center opponent into rail, but that'll end the time. So I guess, I don't think I've had that happen before. Um, would the women start, would the Washington women start with a shorthand in the, oh no, that's, they're not going to come back out anyways. So I guess maybe the men would start with a, Short-handed advantage. <clears throat> um, I don't think I've ever had a penalty not go through the end of a period. But for now, that is the end of the women's night. And the Washington women have given their team a two-point advantage. But it is far from over as the men will come back out. And boy, what a... Uh, Black and blue <laughs> six period we had um, as there were just penalties galore called. Um, there wasn't a lot of skating going on. Not a lot of scoring happened. Uh, and let's see what we will do here in our last period of play. All right, let me just check the rule book real quick um, on the penalty. Um, do, 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 um, if it says that the, well, I guess it just, it's just the next, oh, well, it's actually six cards. I was doing them one short. Um, yeah, so I guess the men would start with that advantage. So, so we'll have five cards there. Uh, and let's see. It was uh, number four, I believe, who was out. So here we go. So the men will start with an advantage for the first five cards. Uh, powerful jammer in five. No powerful jammer. Uh, a star jammer in five. <laughs> no star jammers. Uh oh, are they going to waste this opportunity? Uh, a mean skater in three. Um, oh, boy. So now uh, Tom, U.S. Marshall, and Boyce Withers. Um, both have the mean quality, but now it is Montreal 
who is trailing. So they will win the tiebreaker there. Uh, mean Skater in two. That's going to go to Bill Frederick in the last minute of the penalty. Uh, a fast. That's going to be Bill Fred Frederick as well. But Montreal now back to full power. As Johnny J skates back out. And we will have action right away here. Skaters in two. Stop play with a fight. Oh, boy. <laughs> Skaters warned by the referee. And then play continues. So play stops. So we'll reset the track. Uh, and uh, the referee... Um, Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Keith. Oh, Keith is saying that for simplicity's sake, that if the penalty ends, uh, or if the period ends and the penalty is still going, you don't carry it over. But um, if you do, then that would work as well. Um, all right. So for next, all right. So here we go. Resetting the action, and ooh, we're gonna have a substitution. Uh, let's. Oh, and Tom, U.S. Marshal is gonna have to come out for a minute. Um, Maybe his his lace broke on a skate, uh, and that is that is big for Montreal. Uh, let's see a body blow. Oh boy, that's going to be the freight train. Freight train lane lives up to his name and knocks down the rock. And now more action coming at us. Let's see skaters in five. Trade shoves with angry words, and it's going to be Danny Colavetti who comes out on top, and his team. In position for another jam here. Uh, Agile Skater in four. Oh, that's going to be Johnny J. Here comes Montreal. More action. Skaters in one. Skid into Skaters in two. Guys get a massive pile up. Uh, and it's going to be the Freight Train who comes out on top. Uh, as he is just uh, just too much here for the, uh, the smaller Skaters. Um, oh boy. Well, you know what? They've been doing it all night. They're going to hold and try for the power jam. Uh, oh, and it's going to work as the freight train uh, is once again able to uh, work his way and uh, throw some good blocks and tie Golden Boy Roy in for a big power jam. Let's see. Jammer weeps past entire opposing defense. Making players miss, and it's a five-point jam for the Golden Boy Roy. And Washington extends its lead and are now up 38 to 31. There we go. All right. So Washington deciding to stick uh, with it for the power jam, and it pays off that time. And now have a seven-point lead. We're about halfway through the eighth period. Oh, and as things start up, we're going to have a penalty called. Oh, and it's going to be on Freight Train Lane. Oh, no. Oh, boy. So maybe a little bit too much jostling. And the ref calls him for a penalty. And so now Montreal with perhaps their last best chance to tie the game up here. Let's see. Cheat Skater in one. Well, Ray Rock doesn't have the cheat quality, but there's nobody there. So, um, it will get the advantage. And Johnny J moves up in the pack. Let's see. Home skaters in one and two. Oh, boy. And here come the Monarchs. And we're going to have action. Let's see. Skaters in three. Oh, boy. How about that? And because Tom U.S. Marshall had to go out, um, Roger Bailey does not have the TV advantage over... Um, Boyce Withers. So they'll move into a jam, and because it's shorthanded, it'll automatically be a power jam. Uh, oh, but only three points. One, two, and three. So we'll reset. One minute left of the penalty, and it will be for a substitute to come on. So Washington back to full strength. Let's see. Substitute is going to be the Golden Boy. Will have to come out. Uh, let's see. So, um, hmm. I guess they will. Um, they'll bring Tom back out. Um, so he doesn't have the jammer position listed. Uh, so he will lose the star um, for his uh, star and smart. Uh, so they'll hopefully be looking for uh, an opportunity to rotate their players. Uh, let's see, smart skater in four. Well, how about that? 
<laughs> right away it is Tom Marshall. Gets his team back out in front. Uh, let's see. And then an Agile Skater in four. Oh, but Johnny J will have it start, so he will win that. Uh, so here we go. Johnny J and Tom U.S. Marshall battling it out here as we get into the final seconds. Oh, but another substitution called for. Oh, and it's Johnny J who is going to need to be substituted for. Oh, goodness. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. I guess they're going to bring in uh, Truman Zeman, um, who will have the advantage of a fast quality. It's actually, he'll have the advantage of an agile quality, it's called as well, uh, since they're trailing. All right, action continues. Let's see, a mean skater in four. Well, again, that's Tom Martin. Oh, this is actually working out uh, well for them, as he's going to elbow Zeman as Zeman gets onto the track. Uh, big skater in three. Uh, that is uh, Boyce Withers, the pivot man for Washington. Oh, boy, and this is going to come right down to the last card, potentially. Uh, no powerful jammers in five. Two minutes left to play. Uh, let's see, a smart skater in one. Oh, that is going to be Ray Brock. Oh, boy. And now Washington and a chance to jam. Huh. They're down four points. They could try to go for a power jam. Hmm. Boy, oh boy. I'm not sure what's the best. Because if, uh, if they're able to move ahead one more, uh, they would get a power jam and deny Washington the chance to score. But if they don't, the game's going to end. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. I feel like I need to roll a decider die for them to see if they go for the power, if they try to get the power jam. So we'll say a dot. They decide to go for broke and, um, and don't jam right away and, and see if they can move ahead. Um, and if it's a blank, uh, they'll just take their chances with a regular jam. All right. So here we go. And no, they are going to go for broke and try for a power jam. So here we go. A smart skater in four. Oh, and it's going to be Tom U.S. Marshall. Oh, boy. As uh, he is going to bait his opponent into a mistake. So Zeman's going to think that he had an opening. And then Tom is going to trip him up. And that is going to how the game is going to end. Uh, as uh, they would have a chance to jam. But instead, they are just going to, uh, to sit on it. And that would burn one more card. So there we go. The Washington All-Americans pull out a thriller here. 38 to 34. Oh boy. And a, um, a very much back and forth game uh, that I thought might be a, <laughs> a blowout early on. So there we go. Um, I cannot wait to see the rematch when it's down in Washington, D.C., uh, between these two teams. All right, so um, so next week uh, we will have the last of our game one or uh, week one games between um, uh, in our league here. So it'll be Cleveland traveling to Kansas City, uh, and then the following week um, we will do either we'll have one game uh, that I'll showcase the second half, uh, and then we'll roll out two uh, games on the. Uh, the score generator. Um, I don't know. Or I guess depending on how long it takes, maybe if I can get a game down to half an hour, we'll roll out two games. So um, so there we go. Um, roll a rumble. Um, link is down in the show notes below. Um, again, the teams that I'm using are part of the bonus teams, uh, which is available as a PDF right now on the site. Um, and uh, But maybe if we can get enough <laughs> enough attention on roller rumble maybe we'll get some more roller rumble cards uh out at some point so um all right so thank you everybody for tuning in um thank you to keith for uh, for joining us and thank you for uh making all these wonderful games <laughs> for us uh again uh thank you to uh to sports flicks um for bringing this game back into my attention uh and uh and for doing really, really great work um, on your channel with all the graphics and stuff. So uh, there we go. Again, uh, your final is the Washington All-Americans 38 and the Montreal Monarchs 34. Uh, we will see you guys back on the bank track next Monday. Um, I will have a show um, 
uh, this Wednesday. Um, we're going to be bringing baseball back to the table. Um, and I may have a, a bonus show tomorrow, uh, but I'm not going to announce that right now. But um, if I see you tomorrow, great. Uh, and if not, we'll see you guys Wednesday out in the Baseball Diamond. So until then, my name is Steve. Get out there, have fun, play games, and I will see you after further review. Have a good night, everybody.